the phenomenal success of King of Kings proved to the church how powerful movies were as a new method of spreading the Gospels. But many religious figures were unhappy with the power and influence that this unholy industry now exerted, and Hollywood was terrified that intervention by the church would lead to censorship. In an attempt to pacify them, Hollywood hired a former postmaster general called Will Hayes to act as head of their self-regulatory board. The regulations he introduced in 1930 became known as the Hayes Code. The code sets up high standards of performance for motion picture producers. It states the considerations which good taste and community value make necessary in this universal form of entertainment. Respect for law, respect for every religion, respect for every race, and respect for every nation. With the Hayes Code, the church hoped to rein in all of cinema's amoral excesses. Cecil B. DeMille, however, was never one to be told what he could and couldn't do, and decided to test the church and its new rules. He embarked upon the first ever biblical talkie about the very basis of Christianity. The sign of the cross portrayed the persecution of early Christians under the Roman Emperor Nero. I think DeMille, as a very um, upfront Christian, having presented the story of Jesus, then got interested in the early history of the church, and it lends itself, of course, to a spectacle with um, all, the, all the martyrdom scenes. The film is filled with lurid images. There's nude Christians being thrown to the lions. There's a lesbian dance with uh, uh, Joyzel Joyner trying to uh, uh, entice uh, Elissa Landy. saw the film and demanded that the lesbian dance be cut out and DeMille stood his ground. He absolutely refused to cut it and the film was released as is. He won the battle at that time. DeMille may have won the battle, but the Hayes Code had been in its infancy. As its power grew, movies were quickly censored. When the sign of the cross was re-released a few years later, all the contentious scenes were cut out. The Hayes Code proved that the church was a potent force to be reckoned with. But at the start of the 1950s, Hollywood had a far greater threat to worry about. The advent of television 